Hi, today I'm going to show you how to flush your Renai tankless water heater. Uh, for the sake of this video, we're going to do it on a Renai because I happen to have a Renai tankless water heater. Uh, but you can do this on other water heaters as long as you've got the service valves installed on the bottom. Those are those two valves down there. Should be fine. Uh, you'll know it's time to flush your water heater if the display in an extreme situation says LC, that means line condition, or otherwise if you're seeing the line build up on the ends of your faucets and your shower heads, uh, that generally means that your water heater has pretty much limed up. So you're going to need about an hour for this, but you're going to have like a 50 minute break in the middle doing nothing. Um, so it's all about the setup and the breakdown. So I'm going to show you what you need, and this is it right here. So you're going to need yourself a utility bucket a submersible utility pump, a gallon, one gallon of distilled white vinegar, and two washing machine hoses with the rubber washers in the ends. So if you don't already have this stuff, you can order uh, the utility pump, especially on Amazon. Trust me, just get the cheapest one. You don't need a, a whole lot of horsepower here. A fifth horsepower should do just fine, and they should generally run you between 40 and 50 bucks, 40 bucks on the lower end, and you should be okay two washing machine hoses. Make sure when you order the utility pump, sometimes it already comes with a washing machine hose, so you'll have to buy a second one. In my case, I don't think it came with any washing machine hoses and I had to buy two. So you're gonna need uh, these things and about an hour of your time and let's get started. First thing we do is unplug the power. Next thing, make sure you shut both water valves off. So we can give them a clockwise turn. And the same for the cold. When they go against the pipe, they're shut off. With the pipe, means they're turned on. So we're gonna go against the pipe to shut them off. All right. Now let's relieve some of the pressure. All right. Open these service valves up. Alright, these are the valves up here, so you could just use your bucket to catch some of the water. You're not going to get a whole lot. Same with the cold. I'm actually going to drain it down. Great. All right, now we're gonna hook up our washing machine hoses. Make sure you got the rubber washers on the inside. Goes here on the cold side. Hand tight should be fine, just go all the way to the bottom. All right. Other washing machine hose to the other valve. The hose that you hooked up to the cold side is the one that goes on the top of the utility pump. See the pump sucks in from the bottom and pushes out of the top, so we want to go in up and out and through the cold side before it goes through. Right. Rubber washer on the inside of that too, hand tight is fine. Drop it right in. Now there's nothing in here yet, just a little water that came through. Otherwise, that's it. Put the other end of this hose right in. Any which way you can find that gets it all the way to the bottom. So the hose is pulling water out of the bottom of the bucket. All right, there we go. We're not plugged in yet with the uh, utility pump, so just set that aside. Get our vinegar. Go right up. Don't forget, 
These have to be open, all right? The valves that open up the, uh, uh, the service ports here, if you close them before for any reason, make sure they're open. Not the, uh, not the shutoff valves, the service valves. With all that set, plug it right in and we're off. Now you're gonna get some bubbles in the bottom. That's gonna be just fine. Because right now this pump is running, it's pulling vinegar up and through it, so it's gonna push some air out, so you're gonna get a bunch of bubbles in the bottom. We're all good. So we're gonna let this sit for an hour. All right, so just let that circulate for an hour. And if you got a wife or kids at home, just tell them that there's no hot water. No issue, if they turn on the hot water, they're just not gonna get any. So we'll see you in an hour. All right, so we're back. It's been about an hour. Uh, let's unplug her and see what we got. All right. Well, that looks pretty murky. I think we did a really good job. So let's set her back up and I'll show you what we do next here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna disconnect the washing machine hose from the top of the pump. And we're gonna, since we got both hoses already in the bucket, we're just gonna let it drain down. So you already got the hot water hose in there. And as you'll see, it is draining down. So let's just wait for that to finish. And once we've got enough drained out of the, wa uh, the uh, water heater, we'll disconnect the hoses. All right, that was about three minutes. All the water has come down. Let's take them off the rest of the way. We have a little bit of vinegar. Set everything right in the bucket. Let's close these service valves. Put the caps right back on. And tight is good. You don't need to really put a channel lock to it. Some people do. Uh, you got a rubber washer in there. Should be good enough. It is good enough. And tight. All right. Now let's fire her back up and we'll see what we got. All right, so before we put the power back on, we're gonna fill it back up with water. So let's go ahead and crank open the cold water valve first. All right, now it is all full. Now we're gonna uh, crank open the hot water side. All set. Got your display on. We are back in business. Let's go upstairs and give it a shot. As usual, we're going to give that just a moment. And the funny thing is, you'll you'll kind of get a hint of uh, vinegar smell uh, when you first start it up, but that washes right out within uh, just a couple of seconds. There we go. Nice hot water. And lastly, vinegar goes right down the drain. And just one final note, some people had asked me what kind of utility pump I use. I got this on Amazon for like 40 bucks. Um, you might be able to find the same one. It's uh, uh, just a fifth horsepower uh, standard submersible utility pump. Make sure it's submersible, you'll have an easier time. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe and uh, Keep watching for more videos.